Hey, what's poppin'? Y'all already know who it is. It's your boy Webstar, aka DJ Webstar. And right now, you checking out thisis50.com. You already know. DJ Webstar is a uh, producer, a rapper, a label owner, a DJ. Um, hopefully, one day I'll be a, a big mogul. Hopefully, you never know. But um, I got my name from you know just um, growing up in Harlem. You know, Harlem people are funny. They like to crack jokes. They like to you know. Uh, Dance party, have a good time, and they used to always say, "I like the actor Webster, um, um, Emmanuel Lewis." And uh, I just ran with the name, you know. They changed my name to Webster when I started doing the party because all the girls used to come, come out and see me, you know. And, and all the older girls were like, "Yeah, you a little star, so we could call you Webster." Oh man, all of that Harlem is just so creative, you know. I didn't, I didn't make it the chicken noodle soup uh, dance, you know. Uh, the kids made the dance up, and I just made it so calm with the dance, you know. Uh, you know, doing all the parties at home, the kids was always doing this dance. You know, me and Young B, we got in the car, we got up the floor one day, and uh, she was in the car like, listen, this song I just made up, she started singing it, I hope we put it together when we went in the studio, and uh, the rest was history. We, you, know, you know, just growing up, you know, well, I didn't really grow up in the 90s, I was kind of young, but just, just being in the 90s and watching Diddy with the Bad Boy era, you know, control the whole radio, you know, and we had like Mace and Biggie and Total and Frank Mac and Faith, all up the radio at once, and it was all representing one label. I used to always say that I want to have my own label one day and I want to be able to do the same thing he's doing, you know. That's what really it pretty much inspired me. And and music itself inspires me, you know. My whole family loves music. I come from a music-based family, so it's like, you know, music is a feeling, you know. When you're depressed, you listen to music to get you in a better mood, you know. When you're happy, you listen to music to get you to the next level, so. Music itself inspired me to um, do music. There's nothing like music in the world. I love music, you know. When I did Chicken Noodle Soup, he tried to sign me back, back in the day, you know, but I'm young, you know, all the people, you know, we do things different. We like to get our own money and do our own thing. So, you know, Universal offered me a million dollars. Jim Jones was like, listen, we gonna do this. I looked at the million dollars, I looked at Jim, and I was like, I gotta go get this money. I went and got the money, and you know, you know, you learn from your mistakes, you know. Um, I probably, I probably should've did, I should've did things a little differently back then because, you know, I probably would've had a longer, you know, longer run. So, cause I fell off after Chicken Noodle Soup, and it, it was just hard to get back in the game and stuff like that. But now I'm back in the game. I made a song called uh, Dance On Me. It was all over the radio. Jim called me and said, I want to get on it. Jim got on the record. Once he got on the record, uh, it picked up steam. It picked up steam crazy, and we had so much good chemistry in the studio. Uh, we decided to do a whole mixtape album together, and it came out crazy hot. So, shout out to him. I, you know, he, he taught me a lot about this game, and he helped me a lot. So, shout out to Jim Jones. Like, just the internet period was so so important. Like when I, I mean, when I first came out, it wasn't it wasn't like it was. This was before the Soldier Boys and everybody came out off the internet. I guess we probably opened up the eyes for a lot of people. To you know, we came right after the Chameleon era. I don't know if you remember when Chameleon there on all his ringtones. They came out and did like ten million ringtones. They got all the money from it. So like like once that happened, I got my deal, and then anybody else got their deal. But the internet is the wave of the world right now. That's why this is fifty and this big and my spaces and your Twitter because people has been. 50 or 60% of their day on the computer. You at work or at school on the computer. You come home to do your homework you're on the computer. So, you know, it's just like technology is the way of the world. Like, the climate of the game changed so much because people aren't selling albums no more. It, everything's a digital game. iTunes and, and rain songs, you know. Unless you're a Jay-Z or a 50 or a Kanye, when you're this big, big star and, and you can put out an album and you can go three, four hundred thousand the first week. Ain't nobody really selling records no more. So it's about the internet and making your money there and setting yourself up doing music. Setting yourself up doing music to open up other avenues and do other things. I'm gonna tell you something, Dame Dash told me a long time ago when I was younger. He said, yo, the whole the whole world's follow the United States. The whole United States follow New York and the whole New York follow Harlem. I'm sure Brooklyn and Queens will feel differently about it. But I mean Harlem, we just so original and we got so much class and we and we so flashy and we so fly and we like to have a good time. There's no place in the world like Harlem. It was, it was one of the most exciting things I ever went through in my life. I, I lost a lot of friends, you know, to death, to drugs, to jail. And I feel, you know, if there's a person in your community that you know, and they still there and they telling you you can do this, it's a difference from a person you just watching on a TV screen that you might not never meet. Because half the shit you see on TV is fake. So all the stuff you see, like, if, if somebody's really physically in front of you, it's a different ball game. It's like, you can really believe it can happen. And I feel if I would have had somebody like that in my, in my life, and my friends had it, they wouldn't be dead or in jail right now. So, 
Oh man, uh, me and Denny's working on a big put, deal. You putting this TV you. show on. I just did that most million dollar deal, so I'm going to be everywhere now. Uh, you know, my album's gonna come out. Uh, I put this school together called Pocket for the Money, which consists of me and B and D on the T Rex. Uh, you know, Young Money got the number one spot right now, but we coming for that this year. Oh man, it's just like I said, you can lead by example, man. If kids, you, you gotta lead by example. You you can tell somebody to do something positive, and you just telling them, and you doing. You can tell a kid don't smoke weed, but have a blunt in your ear. How you gonna tell a kid don't do drugs when you smoke in front of them? You know, you gotta you gotta show you. You gotta lead by example, like you know. Not not nothing that's wrong with smoking weed, but kids don't need to be seen. They 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 think that teen artists doing drugs and stuff like that. You checking out thisis50.com. You already know.